beautiful people. I'm Therese. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Welcome to a day of perfume featuring Dossier. We're going to be doing an unboxing, a get ready with me, and going to dinner with friends. So first of all, I wanted to thank Dossier for sponsoring this video. I'm absolutely thrilled and honored to be the ambassador for this luxury perfume. I was so excited, you guys, to get this in the mail, so let's go ahead and do the unboxing. Let me tell you a little bit about Dossier. So we believe everyone deserves to smell like luxury. This is sourced from Grass France, which is the perfume capital of the world. Each one comes in its own box, and it is eco-friendly and recyclable. I mean, just look how elegant it would be just to be on your counter, just in this box alone. This is the Citrus Ginger. And again, this bottle is just so elegant. And look at this. That is so high-end, the caps. I just love to play with the caps. Each one comes with a note card. It states what it is. It has the top notes, the middle notes, and the base notes. That's right, you guys. You're so excited. Yes, the Tweeties and Coco Chanel, which is my cockatiel. <laughs> I'm so excited, too. It tells who it is inspired by, the concentration, and how it works. And how it works, if you're not satisfied with this perfume and I don't know why you wouldn't be because it is amazing. You could return it in 30 days for a full refund. And all of the return perfumes are donated to charity for a full eco-friendly and ethical sales process. I hope you guys can see that. Sorry, it might be a little shadowy. It's like four o'clock in the morning here. So, uh, <laughs> so this is a man's perfume. I love men's perfume. So this actually retails for like $195 from Dossier. This was $29. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, I love mixing my perfumes and I have always worn men's perfume for as long as I can remember. I used to wear polo. Yeah, and the green bottle. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay. Next up, this is Floral Elang Elang, and this is inspired by Gabrielle O'Day Perfume. I've always wanted to try this, but the Gabrielle Perfume retails for about $138. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. I'm going to spray a little bit. Oh, this is, this is lovely. This is absolutely lovely. Okay. So next up, okay. This is so super exciting. So this is inspired by Chanel Number no. 5 Eau de Parfum, which retails for about $138. This is the floral aldehyde. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. This is probably my favorite perfume, if not favorite perfume of all time. I happen to have the Chanel number no. five. This is the body satin spray. So we're gonna go ahead and compare. Okay. And I'm so excited to get this because this is almost done and I don't have any of the perfume left. And this was also $29. Oh my gosh. This smells like exactly like it. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this one over here. You know, I can't I can't even tell the difference. That is amazing. 
You guys are welcome to use my discount code below to get 20% off. And if you do buy three perfumes, you do get free shipping. So we believe everyone deserves to smell like luxury. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Teresa. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Welcome back. Welcome to a get ready with me. I'm going to go out to dinner with the girls. So it is a girls night out and we're just doing a simple look. So let's get started. So let's get started. First of all, I just got out of the shower. I really scrubbed my face. So it's nice and smooth. So it's nice to start with a clean palette. And we're going to do our eyebrows. So I really, this is like my favorite ever brow pencil. This is Joa. Okay. Now look at this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our eyebrows. Line the eyes with Wet n Wild. We're just going to do the water well. Using our famous L'Oreal primer. This is Voluptuous Superstar. And we start off by using the primer. Now look at the difference of just using the primer on this eye compared to this eye. This is just the primer alone. So we're done with the one eye. And if you would like to see a full tutorial just on how I do my eyelashes without using anything false, we're just using, um, we're just using this. Please put that in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to do that. You guys can see, look at that. Look at the difference. Because, you know, I do love false eyelashes, but I really, 97% of the time, yeah, <laughs> I really just, I don't feel like wearing them. So I will go the extra step and uh, put on mascara. What's the matter? Oh, hold please. I have to find the Barbie. We have a visitor. Say hello. This is the Barbie. Mm. Were you the one that was banging on the door to get in? See? Look how pretty you are. Look how pretty you are. Oh, no, you can't climb up there, though. Look how cute you are. Oh, we look so good together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, put you down now. Thank you for visiting. So now we're just gonna go ahead and work on the other eye. And so now we're done with both eyes. So now we're going to just use a little bit of moisturizer. This is Signature Club A from Home Shopping Network and it is from Adrian Arpel. It's Rapid Transport C Infused Crinkle Smooth Daytime Eye Serum. And I always use, try to use a little bit of eye serum before I put on any kind of makeup. And this has a roller, uh, the steel ball, and which kind of really cools everything off. So I just put a little bit here. Called um, eyebrow pencil or eyeliner. Uh, let's see, it is in coal and yeah, it's brown. So this is like a dollar. So I'm gonna carefully just line the upper eyelid right here, just a little bit. A little bit of the cat eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. I'm gonna use the Revlon Rose Glow Primer. I love this. So next up we're going to use the Revlon Candid. This is number 130 and this is a natural finish uh, foundation, but I also use it for underneath my eyes. And actually that's all we're doing. I'm just going to put a little bit underneath my eye and that is it. That's why I used so much of the primer because that's gonna act as my foundation. So we're gonna go ahead and just this on. Just using 
choosing a little blender. I love these things. Just a simple, like everyday look. And this is a cosmetic sun sunshine and compact. So this will literally probably last you for the rest of your life if you do buy this. <laughs> A little contour. Pull this down a little bit. And for our lipstick, we're just going to do a nude. This is Skin Cosmetics, and this is called Nudist. <laughs> And oh, what I do love inside of this is with a little bit of skincare. So, so cute. Now this is Skin Cosmetics. This is a waterproof eyeliner in bronze, but I'm gonna use it as a lip pencil. And yeah, sometimes I do go backwards and I use the lip pencil last. So, it's on Factory and they're such a good brand and this is waterproof so it is not going to sink in the little lines around your lips. And now we're going to do our hair. Oh, I almost forgot about the eyebrows. So we're just going to go ahead and use a little bit of CoverGirl Professional Natural Last. Um, the eyelashes just to set them in place. I have a, ever since I was a teenager, I have a lot of blonde in my eyebrows and I haven't colored them lately so sometimes I just have to fill them in a little bit more. And it does take me time. So if you guys would like to see a full tutorial just on how I do my eyebrows, um, I'll, let me know in the comments below. We'll definitely put that out for you. Just finished working 12 hours, so sometimes, you know, you really don't feel like uh, getting ready or basically even combing your hair. So. I hope you guys, I hope this helps a little bit because I'm, I'm really tired, but when you look good, you feel good, right? <laughs> so now we're just going to go ahead and do our hair. And that's pretty much all I'm doing. This is the Aussie Mega Hairs for you guys. It smells so good. Sometimes I just use this just because it smells so good. Smells like a perfume. Oh, you little snuggy. You're so snuggy. And I am wearing my favorite yoga pants. These are GM and I have them small. I like them nice and tight. And then here's my Jack Skelton scarf. So exciting. I do have a gray yoga shirt on and it's ruched on the sides. And then I do have my Nightmare Before Christmas cardigan. And you guys, it's so soft and it even has pockets. And then I have my Jack Skelton scarf.